Hello and welcome to another Raggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review. And uh, today, I've got a trip down Aldi today. I haven't been in Aldi for ages. I went looking for beers actually. And then I walked past and seen this little fella. Ballycastle Limited Edition Strawberries and Cream. Now, as we know, or anybody who follow, follows Irish Cream Liqueurs knows, last year, Bailey's brought out their Bailey's Strawberries and Cream. And I've got to say, it was like a strawberry milkshake, but with massive alcohol in it. And absolutely immense. And I wondered if someone would bring out a slightly cheaper version. And uh, lo and behold, Ballycastle. I thought Lidl might do it first, actually. But Audi's Ballycastle brand has done it. Now, normally these are made in Northern Ireland, of all places. Um, I've got a wife, my wife's cousin. He used to work in a place that did all these liqueurs and that for all sorts of different companies. Whether this one is, I'm not 100% sure, obviously. No, don't tell you on the back anyway. But um, let's try it. So it is 15% volume. Yep. I haven't had a drink yet, my eyes can't see that properly. On the nose, beautiful strawberries on the nose. Oh dear. So looking forward to this. And I've got to say, it looks just like the Bailey's strawberries and cream. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh. So. Not many bottled it, bottles of these at Aldi. First time I've seen it, but I've not been in for a few weeks. So I'm, I, I can't be 100% sure if it's one of them that's gonna, it's been out a while and I just didn't see it or what. Beautiful strawberries and cream on the nose. Oh, strawberries on, on, the, on, the, on the forefront, on the back. Strawberries, but with a, a rush of alcohol in there, just like your normal Irish cream liqueurs, where you get that, you know, that dryness at the back. Oh, so been out today, did the um, mother in law's front garden, and uh, sitting there with my little grandson, he fell asleep in my arms, and I was having some lovely cuddles off him, you know, proper chilled me out. Half an hour there, I'm nodding off with him, I am. And then I got a phone call. Uh, my son's on the phone. You need to come home now. There's an emergency. You need to come home. There's water gushing through the ceiling. I'm like, what the? What, 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 what's happening? So it's gushing from the bathroom ceiling. I thought, the fucking hell's happening there then? And, uh Rushed home as fast as we could with 15 minutes away on the way home. I'm saying, Look, go downstairs, turn the water off, turn the, the main stopcock off, underneath, get underneath the sink, get it turned off. And he turned it off. The time I got home, flipping it, there's water dripping, dropping through the ceiling. He's got towels there, buckets, all sorts of things. I goes up, uh, looks upstairs, lifts the. We've got a Saniflow toilet upstairs, and with Saniflow toilets, you have to be very careful. Um, you, you, you put them into your normal pipes and what we don't allow people to do is you know drop a turd in the toilet upstairs because obviously if ever it blocks up I'm the twat who's got to clean it and uh, if I'm being honest I don't want to be touching other people's shits if it was me own no, fair enough but no I'm not a, I, you know I mean some people in life you know that's their fantasy and you know you know fucking hell it's disgusting but anyway Got upstairs, lifted the lid up of the toilet, straight away I discovered that the Saniflow had blocked. The And for some strange reason, the water coming into the toilet had not turned itself off when it reached the level. So the, even though the Saniflow is blocked, it should, the water should have turned itself off. It should never, that should never, it's a freak occurrence. And normally, because, it, because there's a seal on it broken, I normally wedge a piece of toilet rolling uh, you know the old toilet roll stop it dripping at night because it drives me bloody insane uh i need to go and get a new one at some stage but the, so you you've got the sunny flow 
and uh, I discovered I had to rip it all out, drink, get water out, chuck it down the bath while they're trying to sort out downstairs. And um, I took the toilet off, fucking dirty water. I had to put my hand in to where the, where, where the thing that spins around and smashes all your shite up in your toilet roll. Lovely subject, I know. And pulled out and somehow it can, it can do toilet roll, but it can't do kitchen towel and it certainly can't do them bloody wipes. And I, somehow one of them wipes has been flushed into the toilet and it's clogged up the sunny flow. It also blew the um, fuse, because obviously after a while the it's got hot, blew the fuse. I fixed the fuse straight away because I thought, is that it? I could hear it humming, I knew then it was, it was um, blocked. But anyway, put it all back together, working fine. And uh, we've sorted the front room, look up at the ceiling there, and it's bowing. So I know that I'm going to have to replace some of the ceiling, um, let it dry out a bit more. I've got about 40 towels on the line, curtains are on the line, the, the our three piece suite uh, unit, that's been tipped up on its side to dry it, and uh, what a class, you know, what a class, calamity, catastrophe, you know, for Sunday afternoon you do not want that do you, coming home I was going to chill out in the hot tub and just bloody de-stress, now I've got to wait for the inevitable now, see what happens to the ceiling and uh, see what I'm going to have to do. Looks like I'm going to have to learn how to plasterboard ceilings. I can see it coming. Um, it's one of those things I suppose, you know, the shit happens, doesn't it? But uh, my dad was a plasterer, funnily enough, you know. Ah, you're not here now, you know, he's departed to heaven some years ago, but it looks like I'm going to have to learn how to plaster. Or pay out some big sums to get somebody in to do it for me. But once you've carved it out and got it to a bit of joist all the way round, it's only a case of doing it up and then <laughs> and then a bit of plastering. But we've got these tiles in the front room, which means we'd either have to try and match the tiles, or we'd have to, uh, you know, I've got an interesting little bit of a conundrum ahead of us. Right. So, beautiful. Um, oh, I've tasted the, the Baileys version of this and there's no difference whatsoever between the Baileys, which is 16 quid, and this fellow at 10. And for me, a fair play to Aldi, you know. Um, That is gorgeous. It's got lovely legs on like Audi. You know, you swirl it round and you can see like where it goes down the glass um, on the inside, like a film on the inside that's got legs on. So you get that's the alcohol content coming through. 15%, uh, you know, it's, it's not one you can open and leave it for months. You know, you've got to open it, drink it, you know, within a month, I'd say. This won't be lasting a month. We'll give it last tonight, I feel. But um, beautiful. Just like the Bailey's version, it's basically an alcoholic milkshake. Um, beautifully flavoured. £10 a bottle. £10 a bottle. Um, for me, just wish it could have been cheaper. You know, around about the seven, eight quid range. Like, like, like um, the pumpkin spice version that they brought out, they bring out. But obviously, you know, the you know these days everyone wants to make money, don't they? So, um, when it's £6 cheaper than the Bailey's version, yeah, yeah, I suppose that's fair play, isn't it, you know. Oh, that is delicious. And just like the Bailey's version, you know, you could have some like, vanilla ice cream. Dr drizzle a bit of this over the top, you know, and, and turn it into an alcoholic ice cream. Or even better. Get this, get some um, milk, uh, get this, milk, a dob of ice cream, whisk it together and you've got yourself a proper alcoholic milkshake and a damn fine one at that, you know. Or just drink it neat like I am and uh, sod it, hey. 
so on the aroma lovely strawberries straight out of the bottle strawberries when you've got it into the glass the cream filters through as well on the taste strawberries and cream dryness on the, on the neck um, I can still taste the strawberry even you know a minute or two after I've even uh, took the last go beautiful is it as good as the Bailey's version hell yes 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 you know no doubt about it quality of taste is there and fair play for copying them why not you know that's what it is these days everybody copies each other don't they um, beautiful nothing, nothing other they can say to that mm. so out of five the all important out of five um, I'm going to give it a 4.6, I was going to say 5.5, five, five, but I thought, no, no, give it a 4.6 out of 5, and that puts it in top 10 spirit category, but it is immense, you know, we're talking a quality bit of, um, a quality spirit, wow. So if you haven't already bought yourself a bottle of this, and you like your strawberries and cream bathers, but you don't want to pay that price, get to Aldi's. Get a bottle of this. Tastes the same, looks the same, six quid cheaper. Can't fault it. Right, well that ain't gonna last long, is it? It's gonna be some supping. Right, go back to the house now and uh, survey the damage. Yeah, and I'm having an hour in my hot tub. Thanks for watching, see you soon.